serving and empowering nurses. This is Nurse Connect with Christine. Hello, hello, Roxy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, day. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what time of the day you're watching. You're watching. Yes, yes. Or you're Welcome. listening to the podcast. Yeah. That's right. So um, I'm so honored to have you both. And uh, look, I'm very proud of you. And uh, you guys are something that, I, you know, I always tell the future nurses. And uh, again, thank you so much for your time. And I'm sure that we're going to help a lot of nurses with this podcast. And so um, you should be proud of yourself helping a lot of nurses that have gone through similar um, a pathway, you know, the journey to becoming a registered nurse in Australia, because why not, right? Australia is a beautiful country, and there's lots of opportunities for you waiting. Sure. I'm sure there's going to be a great future ahead of you. And so, um, guys, this is Lloyd and Lox Roxane, and I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm here to interview them, their OSCE experience. What an interesting topic today. Um, and I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of nurses waiting for uh, to watch this uh, uh, interview with you guys. And I'm sure, you know, it's an exciting uh, journey. Uh, it would have been for both of you. So it's really good to share that to the nurses that are wanting to get registered here in Australia. Um, just to give you guys a bit of a background, Lloyd and Lox Roxane are, um, you know, husband and wife. Right. Can I just say, you know, um, I, I must say you guys are power couple and oh, um, Roxine, by the way, <laughs> yes, Roxine got 10 out of 10 in, in her OSCE. What an amazing achievement. That's a perfect score, guys. And Lloyd, of course, eight out of 10. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> that's that's a much, you know, like very amazing achievement as well but we wish you both can you know you both would have gotten 10 out of 10 right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good because that's wow that's quite an amazing um uh, score to be honest and um lloyd by the way guys to introduce you uh so proud of him he's an emergency medical technician in a government um uh, work he as a he's, he does have um, uh, uh, emergency nurse background, and Roxane is a senior nurse in charge in NICU. I didn't know this about you, um, Roxane. Uh -huh. So, uh, so you the manager pretty much labor and delivery department and postnatal ward. Wow, that's uh, that's very exciting. And um, Lloyd. Um, has got the in terms of having to go here in Australia, they just recently got their registration. I'm, I believe you guys have been putting it off as well because you know you still work there. Yeah. And I heard that you just recently um, tendered your resignation. Is that right? Yes, correct. Yep. Mm, yes, so. December, yeah. Yes, that's right, December, and I'm very excited to uh, see you guys back here in, in, in Australia. Actually, they came here uh, last week, so they just flew back um, uh, recently back to UAE just to, you know, finish off their work. And um, and also, guys, their English exam, what an amazing achievement, right? They uh, superior scores, apparently, 90 yeah. and 88 over 90. So um, you guys have been um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to talk about the actual OSCE experience, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, you know, as I said, nurses are very part. excited. Yes, very excited yeah. to hear. Uh, tell us, uh, Roxine and Lloyd, I don't know who wanted to answer this, but the timeline, how did mm -hmm. you wait for your OSCE to be booked? You know, when did you pay the OSCE? And um, yeah, consider the restrictions that you have um, encountered. So as soon as we knew that we passed the NCLEX, we immediately paid for our OSCE fee because we were informed that it's a first-come, first-served basis. 
So your mm, reservation yeah. is your payment. So that's a that's right. big tip out there that if you are in a hurry or you have a timeline to catch or a goal, then as soon as you get your result or your pass result on NCLEX, go ahead and pay for OSCE. If the money's there and you know there are no other factors, go ahead and pay because that will serve as your reservation. So after we uh, paid our OSCE, uh, we waited for the confirmation of payment that is pretty fast. They sent it like the next day. And then uh, we were, since we are offshore applicants, we have to apply for a tourist visa because they will not give us the eligibility to sit for the test without the tourist visa. Because of course, they want to make sure that we're able to, you know, to step into the land, <laughs> land of Australia. <laughs> so we had to... Um, apply for tourist visa. So that's another time consuming um, mm -hmm. event in the application. But in 14 days, we were able to get our tourist, tourist visa, visa. Yeah. or they actually uh, call it business subclass 600. So we mm -hmm. see this, um, it's a lot of, there are a lot of people asking what specific type of tourist visa should the offshore nurses um, apply to? So this is this is it. It's business subclass 600. In 14 days, we were able to get the grant. But um, I heard the others get more than 14 days, but also some get uh, less than 14 days, like just two or three days. So that's really amazing. It really depends on the person. So um, after that, after we submitted our visa grant, um, they sent us the booking selection. They call it the booking selection email where we have to uh, tell them that on this specific cycle, we were uh, given a, like a, like a, how do you call it? Where like a be? week, like it's not a specific date yet. Mm, so they will tell you like, date. yes, tentative date. And uh, they would ask you if you would be available to sit in any of those dates so they will not give you a specific date yet and then once you say yes i will be available in those dates then they will give you the booking email and that's the time they will tell you your specific date approximately took us around six months from the time we paid our oski until the time of exam or the date of exam mm -hmm. yeah. right and um, yeah, so I, I heard your tip there, Roxine, you know, yes, pay the APRA OSCE first if you wanted to book in fast because uh, it's first uh, paid, you know, uh, then you get you get your schedule. And um, yeah, six months is, look, you know, doable. And mm -hmm. good news is for those who are onshore, uh, that's definitely much lesser time, okay, because of the, you know, cut short of the application of visa and all that, okay. So, and um, as you know, Roxin and Lloyd, they applied from UAE. So that that's still a great timeline um, as compared to others also. And, and I, I was surprised it was only 14 days, right, the visa yeah. that get approved. And yeah. so at AUR and Pathway as well, Roxine and Lloyd, we, uh, we guide the nurses with their visa, what they need to provide, making sure that they're going to be approved on the first time, okay? And so um, preparation, let's talk about the preparation. Um, I, uh, for, for those of you who are listening, Roxine and Lloyd, they did enroll at AUR and Pathway. And um, how long did you guys prepare for your OSCE? And, um, you know, you got to have to consider your work, right, in between. Yeah. And, um, and, and did you think that enrolling at AUR and Pathway has definitely helped you? So um, for us, enrolling to our view center, especially area AUR and Pathway, was not uh, only recommended. It's, like, essential. Because, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, OSCE, uh, OSCE in Australia... It's quite fairly new, so you don't have any like uh, DIY materials yet. You don't have any yeah. resource materials yet. So for us, it's very very essential for us to have a review center, so that we'll be guided for uh, which uh, specific uh, which specific things do we need to study. Because to be honest, there's already OSC in uh, UK, 
But the thing is, their Oski is so much different from the one in right. in Australia. That's why if you use the materials uh, for Oski in, uh, in UK, you'll be very much uh, bombarded with a lot of information that you really don't need. And it's so quite different from the one in Australia. So for us, it's really essential to have a review center. That's one of the tips. Mm-hmm. Have a review center. Have a good review center. And the thing is, that's why we cho- chose AUR and Pathway. Uh, it's because of the quality of the review. And one of the good things about this is, we for, for sure, uh, everybody will like ask several review centers first when they, when they are searching for a review center. For us, that's why we chose AUR and Pathway because Miss Christine was the if you can see, she's the most. Uh, she's the most available. She's always there for all of the students. Even if you're not a student, she'll be always there for all the people. That's why mm. we chose Air and Pathway because, uh, yeah, because of those things. So, and if I may add, yeah, being an offshore, a mm. irresponsive educator talks or says a lot about the quality of the education. It means they're very accommodating, and they will. Offshore nurses have lots of questions. So um, for us, that was a big factor, the responsiveness. And yeah, that's why we were drawn into a yarn pathway. Uh, thank you, uh, Lloyd and Roxine. But can I just say, um, nurses that are watching, these two are very determined, you know, um, to uh, pass the OSCE. I, I can see, you know, the when when they came, they're like, you know, game on. Miss Christine, can you accept me? You know, the, I can see the hunger, the determination. And I, I guess that's another big tip for those nurses that wanted to take the OSCE. Um, have the determination like Roy, Lloyd and Roxine, right? Because uh, uh, most of the time, it's it's your, you know, personality, your character that will always stand out there. And, and, and Roxine and Lloyd is a very good example for this and I can see they're, um, uh, that's why I said power couple because, you know, they work together, you know, it can't be, it doesn't have to be your husband or your wife practicing with, okay? It could be your friend because I can see these two, you know, they're fighting for it. And like, you know, Christine, assess me. I already told them, oh, you guys are going to pass it 100%. <laughs> but they're, you were they're the one pushing it, right? <laughs> yeah, so but you have to see us, you have to check. <laughs> That's right. Yes, because look, uh, I'm. Thank you, Lloyd, that you noticed that. Yes, I'm very passionate about the nurses uh, that I look after. Um, uh, as I always say, you know, um, a character is the main thing, right? And 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 most of the time, I can see the one that are passing. They they have the grit, you know. They have the determination, and you know, not giving up attitude. So uh, that I admire you both for that. Okay, and so yes, and also when the date was finalized for you guys, um, how did you both feel? Because you know, remember going back, we said when they give the date, obviously they wouldn't give the exact date yet. When did it actually sink in? And um, can you tell the the viewers how many times um, did you practice? So um, the anxiety was to the roof. I'll be honest. The 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 events sunk in when when yeah when the date when the final or specific date was given to us because it's all getting real now. Like we're actually going to Australia and we're gonna do the OSCE. So um actually when uh we were reviewing it was um because we were working full time, both of us, when we were still here, we we were just going through the online portal, which is a really good thing. Uh, that's that's good thing with AR and Pathway because they have the online portal and you can study on your own pace. So mm-hmm. for offshore nurses or anyone out there who is having a full time job, um, you cannot really just like have a schedule on this date and have to review. You can only review like after your work or on your rest mm. days so that was a big factor for us because we were going through the online portal on our rest days so we were starting oh. kind of familiarizing ourselves what mm. do the station looks like what nursing skills are they gonna possibly ask 
but the yeah. actual like a hundred percent we were like game face on yeah. was when we arrived in australia that's another tip that we wanted to emphasize to offshore nurses out there don't fly to australia the day before of your exam because a lot do that mm. and they didn't yeah. really have the feels or you know that mindset that oh this is real this is and this is this might affect my future so go there like maybe two weeks three weeks in advance so you get the feels that all right this is real and i have to get it done i have to be very serious so mm-hmm. I can say roughly around three weeks yeah. was our mm-hmm. game face on. Yeah, so mode. we arrived, yeah, three weeks. So that gave us uh, enough time to review and to have a feel of what life like in Australia. And also for us, because wow. both of us were both OC. So it, Ma'am Christine, knew, <laughs> you Ma'am know Christine knows this one, that <laughs> we actually att- tried to attend all of the face-to-face classes in all of the, all of the mm-hmm. states in Australia. So... Mm-hmm. We attended in Melbourne. We attended in Adelaide. We almost attended in yeah. Sydney as well. So, but we had <laughs> yeah. a wedding to but, attend to. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So, so yeah, that's one of the yeah. tips. Uh, try to arrive in Australia at, at, at least two weeks or if not a month. Mm. That's, that will be perfect. So at least you can study, you can have a feel, and you can attend the face-to-face classes uh, uh, with your review yeah. center. For us, it's AOR and Pathway. So that's one of the tips that help us a lot because... Uh, yeah, practice, practice is the most important thing with this uh, OSCE. That's, oh, yes, definitely. Um, uh, that's what the one thing I always say because the curriculum at AUR Pathway, it's very concise, very specific, very straightforward. All you need to do is keep practicing. And um, can I just ask who practice more? <laughs> to be honest, both because same we, level, yeah, same almost. Level. Yeah, mm. because what we do, um, Miss Christine, we're like study buddies. Well, that's um, right. that's another good thing in AUR and Pathway. You guys, you get to meet friends who are in the same journey mm-hmm. as yours. I am still in contact with a lot of my classmates back in AUR yeah. and Pathway, and this is where you get a connection with the same people, and you get like deep connection because you're in the same journey Mm -hmm. and so you can get a study buddy from the class in itself so for us we're lucky enough that we are both in the same review center we were study buddies and we basically um practice on each other like he will become my patient on one one point and then now it's my turn i will be the patient and in that mm-hmm. way, I would be able to tell him a feedback like, oh, you should do like this maybe better next time or you did well on this and that. So that's mm-hmm. one good thing with having a study buddy. Yes, um, it's, it always helps, of course, to have someone um, with you. And aren't you lucky you have Lloyd, <laughs> <laughs> Roxine, but... Uh, Yes, and uh, it definitely helps to have someone uh, practicing with. And um, I'm sure you guys are very consistent as well with your practice. I think that's the main thing that I wanted to highlight with the nurses, you know, that that's about to go through the OSCE. Again, you guys got to have to be consistent, you know, um, have some schedule. Um, and also not for them not to get overwhelmed, I think the biggest thing, uh, tip I always tell them, um, focus on uh, one or two, three stations at a time, okay? And in saying that, though, you got to have to find what works for you as well because um, uh, there's always a lot of, uh, you know, ways to practice. But I think, you know, the more focused you are, you know, the more committed you are, the more, you know, you schedule things, that's the time when, you know, it's just going to come all together. Okay, so um, yeah, so on. The, let's talk about the actual OSCE, right? Um, it's definitely an anxiety-provoking exam. Mm-hmm. Look, I've been there. I, I worked for APRA before. I was the examiner, and oh man, I can just tell you know, <laughs> some nurses there they they freeze up. But obviously, you know, we because of the confidentiality, we can't really you know talk about it more. But um. With the actual OSCE, the day has come, you know. Um, imagine yourself on that day, Roxine and Lloyd. Tell the nurses um, the experience that you had 
when you know on that day and where what are the things that have helped you perhaps overcome that nervousness tell about tell us about the experience you know again not going to too much details right and could you also perhaps talk about the two minutes reading time and the eight minutes performance time and i hope i hope i hope the examiner there are as nice as me <laughs> so the day of the exam uh to be honest you uh when you're having to register downstairs before the exam and uh, while waiting for your turn uh, to be called up, uh, it's not that uh, it's not that uh, nerve wracking to be honest. But when your f- uh, first station comes, that's the different story because you will just feel uh, calm, relaxed because everybody's relaxed at that time. But when your first station comes, that's the oh, that's oh, uh, that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, you will feel uh, you'll feel that you don't have enough time for everything. You'll feel you'll you really feel nervous. That's normal, but uh, it, it, you should get over that first station. You you don't carry wow. that over. Whatever what what happens in your first station, whatever. If you felt that you failed it or you felt that you passed it, you 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 forget it. You, you go to the next. You move on. Uh, move every on. station is a, a, a every station is a chance. It's a new day. Yeah, basically. It's a, basically, yes. It, basically, it's a new day. You you get over wow. it. You you do your best at the next station, and eventually, you the nervousness will just fly away because it's just fast. It's just mm-hmm. fast. It, it it goes fast. To be honest, those ten stations, it felt like it just uh, uh it's so fast. A few seconds. <laughs> yeah, a few seconds. So, uh. So yeah, there will be two minutes reading time. It's fairly enough. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things, but in uh, in your review center, you will be taught this that you don't need to know or you don't need to uh, put write into writing put into everything. Writing, yeah, put into writing everything, mm-hmm. and also so it will be ten minutes in total, two minutes reading time, and eight minutes to perform the actual task. So one of our tips is. Uh, when you're practicing is don't uh, time yourselves for eight minutes. So just time yourselves at least six minutes or seven minutes. So at least whatever they throw at you, whatever surprise they throw at you in the in the OSCE itself, you'll have a buffer mm. time to be able to finish the, the, the station. Yeah, if I may add, um, from mm. I, I totally agree with you about the time. Like you would feel... On a first look, you'd say eight minutes is a long time to perform the skill. But you have to put into consideration that it's a new environment, new setting. Mm. Do you know where the equipment is? Do you know what form are they using? You have you have an idea, but like the exact form you're not really sure of. Um, so it's basically like a new, new field. It's a new environment. So it's really important to, while during... Uh, or during your practice, you you put a timer on your phone. That's what we did. You put a timer, six to seven minutes, and that will give you the feel that, oh, so this is the time that I have to work around with. So the one minute or two minute buffer time will give you that uh, leeway or like, you know, an allowance for those things where you have to look for the equipment. You have to, oh, by the way, the actors in the actual OSCE, some of them are very engaged. Like they really mm. try to talk to you. And I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, but they're really friendly. Maybe they're not doing it on purpose. They're just really friendly, but they really talk to you like a friend. So you kind of have to set a bit of set a bit of boundary that, okay, I'm doing something here. I'm not here to talk. And you have to make, be professional. Yeah. Don't yes. let the actors throw you off your performance, basically, because... They will eat a lot of your time, so just do your thing. But still talk to them, but with, with, with the time in mind, yeah. So. Right. Look, there's there's a there's a, a lot of tips there, uh, guys, that you've just you know uh, said. I love it that you know I I love what uh, Rock, uh, Lloyd said. Make sure on the first station, you know, get over it. Whether you know because. Yes, that's the majority of the feedback as well. Usually, uh, they say first station, you know, it's always the thing. But uh, I do say that to the nurses as well because every station is a new day, Roxine. That's right. And you got to just get over it and, you know, um, get on with it. 
right? And also with the new environment, uh, Lo uh, Lo uh, Roxine said, yes, please, guys, um, make sure you have a buffer time. It's very important because that will allow you to, um, you know, have some more time to really get familiar with the environment. Yes, the forms and all that, okay, that you're going to come across there. And um, uh, what, what did you say? Yeah, time yourself, um, as, as uh, uh, Roxine said. And that's more like that, those are the main tips. And apart from the tips that Lloyd and Roxine gave uh, just then, which are very helpful, um, at AUR and Pathway, we, we, we do, we'll guide you. We have more tips. We're always updating our curriculum as well. Roxine and Lloyd, if you if you've come across our online portal now, it's it's a bit different. Wow. I'll be honest with you. I so love you always there. updating. <laughs> yeah. And the exciting thing is we're investing in our simulation lab. So we were going to upgrade the Adelaide this year, but we thought we put it out next year. So we're always investing back to the nurses, by the way. And that's something that, you know, we plan, you know, as we, the company is uh, enormously growing. And so, um, you know, that's another exciting uh, for the nurses. But OSCE is centered around communication um, nurses, okay? And so, you know, you got to just have to be out there, not getting overwhelmed. But apart from the tips that uh, we were just talking about now, Roy Lloyd and Roxane, what other tips you think? Uh, that could help our nurses? I think I can add in the list the spontaneity or the randomness. So mm. um, what do I mean by that? Basically, when you get in there into the simulation lab in Adelaide, you don't know what station, first the station you will be given to. That's right. So um, what we did is we what wrote in a piece of paper the possible stations that we think will come out and you guys will have an idea what stations i'm talking about when you enroll at aur and pathways it's really important to 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 enroll because you know what specific skill you're about to focus mm -hmm. on so we wrote That's in a piece right. of paper we place it in a bowl and then we kind of pick randomly what station mm -hmm. am i going to perform like or show him yeah since he is my study buddy. So that feels would, um, or that process will make you prepare on the randomness of the stations that will be um, assigned to you. So like me, I have, we were, our examination were actually on the same time, but both of us have different first stations. Mm. So yeah, that's what I was Yeah, you'll about. know that when you mm. reach When you get and, there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, be that's spontaneous, what... yeah. Mm -hmm. Just don't uh, pick for your uh, pick uh, by yourself. For example, ah, I will do this. I'll do this. No, throw it in a bowl. Uh, pick on random, so you'll be at least surprised of what you do. Uh, yeah. So that's what she was saying. And oh, yeah, for my tips that I said a while ago, uh, set your timer for six to seven minutes. So at least you'll have a buffer time. So also this buffer time allows you to also check on what the things you have maybe forgotten for example me i have uh yeah you will forget some things but yes. uh if the examiner is nice uh yeah you can, yeah, you you can, can still <laughs> fix your mistake and be able to pass the be able to pass that station so that's the important thing about the buffer time time so you'll see who did i forget something oh this one the end the, the, yeah so hopefully the examiner will allow it then he'll, he'll let you go hmm. also one more thing about uh she i will add to the spontaneity uh when you're already familiar with all the stations with your i think a bit mastered it already at least 80 percent mastered it try to practice it uh 10 stations straight like the real thing so for us what we did uh so she'll do 10, I'll do 10, but that will be random. Like, we'll, uh, I'll pick 10 at random, then she'll do it. I'll pick 10 at random, she'll do it. And you should practice everything. Straight. Yeah, straight. Yeah, non stop. Yeah, with even the two minutes reading time, time yourself. Okay, two minutes reading time. Okay, go in. Then after that, do the, do the, do the, do the, do the station. So that gives so, you the endurance yeah basically yeah. that gives you the endurance to feel the real thing and if 
uh, yeah, the endurance basically. Because, you know, basically when you get to your last three, let's say station seven, eight, or mm -hmm. nine and ten, you'll feel tired. You'll know that when you practice all ten together, you'll feel tired by the end of it. So that's what you're trying to foster right. or trying to develop the endurance. That's, yeah, that's right. very important. Yes. Yeah. So I, don't know. I love that tip. I have a. Yeah. It, it's really good to hear. Uh, sorry, Lloyd, you were saying. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that because you know, um, that's the thing. You know, coming from the real takers, and uh, that's a big tip. I love that that you just gotta have to practice all ten, right? Um, continuously to develop the endurance, and at the same time, not being able to know, you know, what what is it that's gonna come out, and that yeah. makes it more spontaneous for you guys, and that will better prepare, I believe, you know, um, and and that's uh, that's another thing that I'm looking at um, in the future uh, with the simulation lab, uh, making sure that you know each stations. And at the same time, because we're, we're establishing a proper uh, registered training organization, which will be launching next year. So that's, uh, uh, you know, I'm very excited for the nurses uh, pretty much that are, um, you know, going to be enrolling with us. And uh, just to, you know, give you guys a bit of a rundown for the nurses who are taking down notes for the tips. Um, big, big tips right here, guys. Practice with spontaneity, right? From uh, Roxane, making sure that you guys are just not practicing what you wanted to practice. So have a bowl like that, you know, the magic bowl, you want to call it, like uh, Lloyd said, want to pick that up, you know, yourself, and then just practice, right? Time yourself eight minutes and all that. The buffer time is very important, as they said. And then we just kind of pray that all the examiner is very nice, isn't yeah. it, Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, that makes a difference also i believe and um yeah so the 10 stations i love that big tip um right there and uh thank you so much for uh that uh you know amazing journey that you guys have and uh very proud of you to be able to share this with the nurses again um the main uh you know takeaway for this is to help the nurses trying to you know get them achieve their dream to becoming a registered nurse in australia and um any long-term goals for both of you roxine and lloyd right now well of course to move to australia for good and yeah. start our lives there yep and oh, another nice. thing is uh, we're actually looking forward to spending time with our families you know australia is very close That's to right. our home country so yeah, those are mm. the things that we are looking forward to and mm. probably travel, most likely travel. So, yeah, yes. a bit of a break, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah after all this, this, this took like two years at least with the pandemic and everything. No, I think it's just one year. Oh, because, yeah, one year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a year from yeah. then. But... And there were things that we, that uh, made it took a bit longer. For example, our uh, mm. score transfer, like we also applied for like a US uh, right. license. Yeah, that that took a bit of time as well. Actually, our registration mm -hmm. would have been earlier if not for other things, but eh. yeah. yeah. Personal, there's, always uh, a, there's always the right season, right? And yeah. the right timing. Yeah. God's perfect. And, um, yeah. Perfect timing. That's good yeah. to hear. And um, yep, so any tips how you can encourage also the future nurses, Lloyd, Lloyd and Roxane? Um, before I dive into into that, Miss Christine, I just wanted to let you know that I'm really looking forward to this interview because it's really nice to to help the future nurses, especially mm. the offshore nurses, because we've been there. We've right. got a lot of questions, and to be honest, we didn't know where to start. And thank you for being so responsive to us, for answering our questions. Mm. And also, I wanted to emphasize to the incoming um, or the future um, applicants for the um, OSCE, you're very lucky to have like mm -hmm. this resource to get notes from because before we didn't have that. Yep. And it's, you're really, uh, consider yourselves lucky, you guys, because you get these tips uh, directly from people mm -hmm. who just took 
who took the exam recently yeah, and i feel like this is a way of paying it forward because mm -hmm. our friends they were our source of strength and you know we keep asking them and really guys you know who you guys are thank you so much for answering our questions we didn't have a podcast interview to listen to before but you guys were there so thank you wow. thank you miss christine you became like very close to our heart because you were very helpful during the process yep yes and um look you know you guys are god sent i i believe because when i asked roxane i can i can tell the you know excited the excitement uh when and when she said yes so uh thank you so much and i just wanted to end the um uh the podcast with this quote weakness of attitude becomes weakness of character right um i just wanted to tell this to the nurses because this is what i've seen with Lloyd and Roxane, um, attitude wise, you know, you gotta have to be out there because when your attitude's not right, you know, um, it's a bit hard for you. I mean, what's the point of registration, right? If your, uh, your attitude is not good and that's why, you know, that's the main thing that I wanted to highlight with the nurses out there because it's gonna show up. If your attitude's not good, right, it's going to yeah. show on your performance. And I think that's the um, you know main tip from me as well as an educator here in Australia and as a nurse and all the nurses that I've looked after. Because as a nurse, it's a profession that you got to have to be caring. And attitude is the main thing when it comes to, um, you know, being a nurse, right? And not Great. just being a nurse, of course, as a uh, people of character. And so again, thank you so much, Lloyd and Roxy. Yes, well. And um, uh, nurses, I do hope that you enjoy this um, uh, interview with Lloyd and Roxy. If you guys have any question, if you guys have any comment at all, please comment down the link below. We're very happy to help you and uh, guide you with your pathway to becoming a registered nurse here in Australia. Again, thank you so much, Lloyd and Ro Roxy. Thank you. Too. <laughs>